So uh, uh, I'm Mohammed. Um, today I'm going to talk with you about how to build a graph search teams message extension. But before we start, let's uh, talk a, a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm Mohammed. Uh, I'm a Microsoft 365 uh, and SharePoint developer and also tech lead at Atea Global Services. I'm from Egypt, but I live in Riga, the capital city of Latvia. I enjoy contributing to the community and developing solutions for Teams and SharePoint. Uh, I have earned uh, awesome badges from the community. Uh, you can find me on uh, Twitter. I'm also in LinkedIn. And if you have time, you can have a look at my reviews in GitHub. I also uh, blog about Microsoft 365 uh, development topics that I work on. Uh, you can read also uh, about my articles on my blog at mohammedamir.com. So the uh, agenda for today uh, is going to be about uh, first the idea and prerequisites for uh, our sample and uh, talking a little bit deeper about uh, what we are going to do in order to uh, build this sample and the fun part about demo and exploring the code. So the idea here is uh, I, I have built a message extension uh, based on a search based message extension uh, template from uh, Microsoft Teams toolkit. It's based on a custom search results template. And it allows the users uh, in Microsoft Teams to search Microsoft 365 data and share results through, through the Compose message area of Microsoft Teams client. You can uh, use the extension not only in Teams, but also in Outlook on a Windows desktop or web browser. There are, of course, uh, some prerequisites for running the sample. Node.js that supports version 16 or 18, a Microsoft 365 account for development, and of course, setting your development environment for extending Teams apps. Uh, also, a Teams toolkit for VS extension or Teams toolkit CLI, if you are familiar with it. So before talking about the main areas of the sample, I have to say thanks to VS Teams Toolkit extension. I did nothing but change it some parts of the basic template of message extension uh, custom search results template. And the main areas that you should change to build similar sample or app are first, the message extension search commands, and I'm calling it the message extension look. Uh, well, I call it the message ex extension look because the list of search commands of the message extension will make the look of the extension. Second, build the message extension Azure infrastructure and required resources by provisioning uh, all required resources for the extension like pod service, app registration, or granting permission. All can be automated by Teams Toolkit. Um, then Microsoft extension uh, single sign-on authentication. Then also uh, after that, calling and consuming Microsoft Graph Search API and return results. Consuming this awesome uh, API and how we can customize the search results depending on the uh, selected search command from the extension. Uh, after that, sharing results through the Compose message area via cards with link to the selected item from the extension. Let's jump into the fun part and deeping dive into demo. So uh, just to save my time, I 
run the uh, extension. And uh, here you see five commands. Uh, and this, these five commands are the commands that I added to the manifest file. And this is how I made the look of the extension. When you will run the extension for the first time, you will be asked to sign in. Uh, I already signed in. That's why I don't have this sign in here now. And the way how I, the way how I organized the search commands here to get uh, results about Microsoft 365 files uh, and also news and list items, uh, messages and events. Let's maybe search for something like graph. Well, let's select first files because I wanted to see all files. Again, yeah. Now I have one result from Microsoft 365 about graph. What if I want to see results uh, from uh, SharePoint news, for example? Here uh, I have one result talking about this uh, Microsoft Graph Explorer. What if I would like to share this result from my colleague? Just by selecting this result and I can also check and view this item before sending it to my colleague. Yeah, it's a news post. And let's share it with my colleague so he can also open it from his side. Again, opening the extension and um, searching for maybe something else. Um, Viva. Do we have something? Yeah, we have one result, but what about list items? Yeah, maybe we have. Yeah, so here I'm I'm just um, narrow down the results to get results from list items. The same here, if I select messages, then I'm uh, calling Graph API to get uh, me all the messages that I received uh, related to this Viva topic. The same for events. I don't know if I have some results related to events or not, but let's see. Yeah, I don't have uh, events. So this is how it works very quickly. Let's jump into the second fun part, which is the code. So the main important uh, part here is the uh, main file search apps. And in, in search apps, I started here by defining the authentication configuration object with some variables, a client ID, tenant ID, a client secret, and also defining uh, another um, another variable to hold the uh, HTML page that will handle the single sign on. There are two pages, one for uh, the start and one for ending the authentication. And here in this function, uh, handle the message extension query with SSO. It's being called with several parameters, including the callback uh, that handle the response. In the callback uh, function, uh, the callback begins by creating a new on behalf of user credential object here, bypassing the token and um, the object that we defined previously that holds uh, all our uh, intra app uh, uh, variables. 
then uh, defining uh, empty attachments uh, for later on it will hold the card attachments that we will share with our colleagues through chat and here if it's the initial run uh, then uh, we will handle the uh, the sign on and just return uh, a preview item without doing nothing. But if it's not initial run, then uh, we will uh, initiate uh, or initialize this uh, token credential authentication by passing the credential and all required scopes to be able to get files, calendar, people, sites, mail, uh, then uh, initializing the graph client. And here, uh, getting the query parameter to, uh, that we uh, are going to search for. And here, matching the selected command ID with specific entity type to pass it to uh, graph search in order to get specific results, for example, getting news, getting news only or getting files. And here, this is important. Maybe you have uh, experienced that before. Uh, for, for, uh, for me, I thought about how to get only news. Then I thought about, OK, what about if we filter uh, the files by adding something to the query parameter, which is promoted state two. This will just return for us all news pages that are published. And then composing the uh, response, um, passing the uh, specific entity type by selecting specific command and the query and some specific fields because we don't need all fields from uh, graph api then calling graph api and uh, getting the results looping through through the results and as long as each or yeah each entity type has its own properties then uh, i did something here to get the title because it's different from entity to another entity when we call in graph so getting the title text and here i'm only handling view item button or link for all entities except messages and events why because messages and events has different uh, url for the item so for all entity not for all entity types, but for most entity types, uh, it has web URL, but messages and events, it doesn't have this uh, web URL. Then passing the uh, thumbnail card to the attachment array that we defined previously. Um, then one of the important parts of the code is defining, as I mentioned, the look for the uh, extension. Uh, so by defining these commands, search files and search news and so on. Um, other than that, there are also important changes that I did for the uh, Azure uh, BICEP. If you are familiar with BICEP, then you will uh, be able to uh, get the point behind my changes. Uh, for uh, for here, we have some uh, Azure resources. Uh, this is the parameters for the names of Azure resources. We have one by SIP for creating our uh, resources and one for bot uh, registration. Uh, if you uh, follow my uh, GitHub repo, you will find all the activities that I have done in order to change the basic template of uh, custom search uh, results to have this um, sample. And uh, yeah, one also important part is uh, handling authentication by these two files. And of course, the main two uh, 
important files for uh, for Teams Toolkit apps, Teams app local and Teams app dot yaml. So by by that I think I'm I'm done and. Um, here you will find my code sample and my post explaining the code about uh, this uh, extension sample. Thank you and back to you, Visa. Thank you.